Gears X The Fall released last July on iOS, last January on Android, and last Tuesday on the only relevant platform PC. It's a potent and ambitious slice of Human Revolution's world, wrought in an episodic, portable form. The game translates the vast majority of the mechanics present in Human Revolution into a tablet experience via the Unity engine, without muddying them up too much. The PC release makes clear that this outing has been through a translation to touchscreen and back, without compromising playability outright. Certain elements have been streamlined and pared back, namely the gunplay, which is weaker, less visceral, and levels which tend to be smaller and less complex. That being said, the open approach to encounters and dynamic, emergent style of the game retains much of the elegant design present in Human Revolution, undoubtedly aided by the arsenal of stealth mechanics making a return from that title complete and unneutered. The game takes some interesting cues from other titles in the tablet smartphone space, particularly in the form of this stripped-down inventory system, which at first glance seems ripe for monetization. All space management has been gutted and replaced by a marketplace system, from which you can seamlessly purchase and enhance a surprising variety of weapons without having to procure upgrade modules through vendors and quests, as you would have had to in the previous instalment. This centralization complements other changes made whilst transitioning to the platform, such as revive packs and the smaller areas mandated by limited hardware, which ensure there's less excess gameplay fat in the form of traversing the hub world, allowing for the essential form of the game to gel cohesively with its intended platform. That is to say, it's entirely possible to play for shorter 10 minute periods, as bookend load times are frequent and quests are relatively short. On the other hand, these changes feel tedious, inconsistent and superfluous when playing for the longer periods stipulated by the PC gaming environment. The visuals inevitably take a hit, albeit not one that compromises the rich signature aesthetic of Human Revolution, which is in part due to the sometimes sensible, sometimes less sensible reuse of assets, though appropriate cues have been placed to signify that this is taking place in an original location, Panama City. The presence of anti-aliasing and resolution options on PC mitigates certain qualms, yet despite the previous game's relative lack of technical finesse, the reduction in expressibility starts to plunge cutscenes into a PS2 era flappy mouthed soup. In addition to this, the budget for vocal talent seems to have taken a dive, with some flaccid lines of dialogue staining the experience. They work in the shadows, it's what they're good at. I know, because I used to be one of them. Apparently Gunter Herman made it into the novel, but there's no such luck here. Excluding perennial villain Bob Page, the only characters directly tying this game to the plot of Human Revolution are either flat or fake. The tyrants, shallow boss characters in Human Revolution make a reappearance consisting of Barrett, Mistral, and their leader Jason Lemire. Also present is ubiquitous AI anchorwoman Eliza Kassan, who appears in newscasts to provide a greater contextual validity to the game's fairly restricted narrative. Ridiculous techno shades also make a welcome return. The reduced scope of Deus Ex the Fall is very much justified by its intended platform. Much like the tight cyber renaissance motif of Human Revolution reifies many of the utopian abstracts present in the 2000 original, Deus Ex The Fall focuses on a single element of the world of Human Revolution, the control and supply of essential drugs and drug patents by the pharmaceutical industry, and begins to develop and refine its commentary by introducing greater competition and conspiracy. That being said, hopefully Deus Ex The Fall is prescient more of a diverse, uncompromising mobile gaming sector than of the future state of human affairs. On PC, however, the game scores a 6 out of 10.